Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is me, Captain Energy, and today we're taking a look at the LM drum, and today we're going to talk about deleting samples. Uh, it's come to my attention that deleting the samples from a library does not remove the samples from the LM drum, and there does not appear to be a way to remove the samples from the LM drum through the software, though most of the librarian functions can be accomplished there. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use the actual machine to do that. And I did find out how. It's not very well documented, so I'm going to show you what the trick is here. First, when you look at the machine, you'll see that we have this sample button. This is normally, if I press this, this is how you would sample, but if you press tap, Tap acts like a shift a lot of times. So I'm going to hit tap sample and now it's going to bring up this list. And this list is all the samples that are on your unit. There'll be samples that have this little uh, lock next to them. And you can see up at the two at the top. Those are samples that are included with the unit that you cannot delete. The ones down the bottom, as I scroll down, you'll start to see some of these uh, like uh, you know, cap one, cap two, these, right? And uh, these are just samples that I made myself. So I might want to get rid of those samples. That's not a problem. We can actually do that from right here. All we need to do is press the right arrow on the sample we want to get rid of. I'll do cap one and cap two. We'll do one at a time to show you how this works. Press right, and then I'm going to go down on this menu here until I get to delete. Once I reach delete, press yes, and then it will ask you to confirm. Press yes again. And now you'll see there's just cap two. The next one down right here is left. Okay. Um, let's go back. Okay. Press back to get exit that. I'm going to go down to cap two. Select cap two. Same thing. Go down to delete. Press OK. Or uh, yes, rather. Sorry. <laughs> yes again to confirm. And now cap one and two are gone. Now, if we look at the software at this moment, if we had the software loaded up and we were looking at the software, we would see this, which right now, if we were to look at that and go down the list, you'd see cap one and cap two are still there. That can be a little confusing, but just so you know, they actually are not still there. This is just because when I loaded up the Synth Tribe software, I did it before we started doing these deletes and it hasn't recached the data yet. To get it to recache the data so that it's up to date with what is on the machine and what is not on the machine, I'm just going to click the general icon right here. And then I'm going to go back to sample. And now you can see this little wheel spinning. That's updating the cache. Now if we look down at the bottom, you'll notice that the samples are gone. We have no longer have cap one or cap two. They're both deleted from the system. Now one thing about deleting samples, if you delete a sample from here accidentally, it is gone. There's no way to get it back except to reload it. And I'm not sure how the mapping works on your uh, existing drum kits that use that sample. I believe it will not remap properly. You'll need to re map it. So before you do delete anything, I recommend that you hit this backup button right here and this will bring up another menu that will allow me to back up the current state of all of the samples that I have on my LM drum. Here we are. Here's the save window. I'm just going to give this a name. We'll call this backup temp. This is just for me. So now my backup is complete. Now, just to prove that this works, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go delete, see this REC0001. I'm going to delete that from my LM drum, and we're going to uh, restore it just to get an idea of how that works. Okay, so we'll scroll down the bottom here, and there's REC0001. I'm going to right arrow it, scroll down to delete like I had earlier, press yes confirm and it's gone. Now let's go back to the software and I'm just going to go ahead. You can see right now uh, REC0001 is still right there, but I'm going to hit general and that's going to re go back to the samples here and that's going to re-update my cache. And now you'll see that it's gone. Go to the bottom. REC0001 or 0001 is gone. But if I go over and I hit restore and we grab that backup temp file that I made, and I hit open, this may take a moment, uh, what's going to happen in the end is it's going to have that sample reloaded and it will also reload any drum kits that were made using that sample so they will be fully re-enabled. 
and there we go restore complete and now if we go to the bottom down here all right we still don't see it but i'm going to go to general and sample again so we update that cache because that cache is what the problem is why we're not seeing it and there it is record 0001 it has been returned all right so that is what you need to do to back up your sounds on the lm drum and also delete sounds fully delete them from your memory on your lm drum i hope that helps i have another video coming out shortly with the uh, backing up and restoring patterns to the LM drum. I hope this helps everybody out. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you in the comments, and if this helped you out, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye for now.